I'm in the mood to flop on a flotilla of flavorful flowers. Rats, bees. In a momento, I have an idea. <clears throat> Attention, bees. Larger bee in your presence. Buzz, buzz. This is my territory now. The old big bee routine works every time. Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. Friends are there. To help you get started, to give you a push on your way. Friends are there. To turn you around, get your feet on the ground for a brand new day. They'll pick you up when you're down. Help you swallow your pride when something inside's got to break on through to the other side. Friends are someone you can open up to when you feel like you're ready to flip. When you've got the world on your shoulders Friends are there to give you a tip Friends are there when you need them They're even there when you go For a walk in the park, for a shot in the dark Friends are there I don't care But friends will care I just checked the TV listings. I'm the only thing on right now. Garfield, I'm home! I kind of figured that out by the way you walked through the door. I really need quiet, Garfield. I have to study for that test at night school. I'm learning a language that's very difficult for me. English. I'm going to go study. Now, please, don't make any racket. Me? We're back to the action at the World Champion Time Trials. Pulling up, number 37, Enzio Bedoni, driving his lean, mean, corrugated racing machine. And now, Enzio pulls ahead of the pack, deftly weaving his way into the lead. The crowd is going wild! I said the crowd is going wild! Enzio's in the lead, but he's getting thirsty. Looks like he may have to make a pit stop. Number 34 is gaining on him, but is Enzio worried? Yes, Enzio's worried. His, his car is out of control. The finish line is just ahead. Will he make it? The crowd is on their feet, and now he's nearing the finish line. He's Garfield. One of my books is missing. Ruined the whole race! Oh, there it is. Now, stay out of trouble. Uh, do you read me, Blue Leader? This is Lasagna One. We have ignition. Roger, over and out, and fancy flying talk like that. <laughs> Blue Leader? This is Lasagna One. Check and see what the in-flight movie is. Over. Uh-oh. I think I have someone on my tail. I was wrong. No one there. Uh-oh. Looks like I've got company. Yes. That's the last time I buy unleaded. I'm going down. Down. Looks like 
This is the end. Garfield, don't you hear Odie? Didn't you hear Odie wanting to be let in? Come on in, boy. Please, no more interruptions. What was I doing? I was just minding my own business, playing with this. Sorry, fella, this is mine. Get out. I said out. Out, 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 out. All right already. You can stay. There's just the two of us here in this lifeboat. We're lost. Hopelessly lost in the middle of the ocean. They'll never find us, Odie. I'm weak with hunger. I haven't eaten for almost 27 minutes. All I can think of is food. Everywhere I look, I see meatloaf and lasagna and tuna noodle casserole and shrimp chow mein, with crispy noodles, of course, and tapioca pudding, and, and you, you're even starting to look like, like a club sandwich. A club sandwich with a side of onion rings. No, 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 second thought, forget the onion rings. It is a sandwich with roast beef and tomato and ham and lettuce and... Dick! Who ever heard of putting tongue in a club sandwich? Whoa. What is all that racket? Didn't I ask you to please... Okay, that does it. I'm sorry to do this, guys, but I have to study. Playing with a cardboard box. Of all the childish, silly things to... Hmm. What ho, Black Knight? You did not expect Sir John of Camelot? Ha-ha! <laughs> Take this, you blackguard, and that, and this, for the honor of Queen Beatrice and King Arthur. The round table is actually an ellipse. Ha-ha! <laughs> Touché! At two. Some people never let you have any fun. <laughs> Ready for liftoff, Odie? Six, five, four, three, two, one. We have ignition. We have liftoff. Affirmative, Houston. We have liftoff and all systems are go. hold it down I'm trying to read a book a new book let me see that attack of the awesome space zombies oh not one of these there's nothing wrong with reading science fiction for a normal person no but not for you Orson the trouble with you pig is you believe everything you read this book is fiction it's make-believe I know that you do sometimes get carried away you should be carried away read read it's good you read we think that's just fine. But what we don't like is what you read when you read between the lines. Between the lines? A read, a read, it's good to read. And use your imagination. When you read more than you read, you scare the whole farm population. Yeah. Read, read, it's good to read. But now everyone complains. You got Brains. 
I never let my imagination get carried away. Uh-huh. It is now three o'clock. I will be laughing until at least 5.30. I know the difference between real and make-believe. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. The Martians had hit upon a brilliant scheme to invade the Earth. They had disguised themselves as harmless cheese Danish. The Martian leader knew no one would suspect a cheese Danish of carrying the laser phaser rays. You know, if I were to do what I was thinking, I would be the rottenest person in the world. Okay, so I'll be the rottenest person in the world. <laughs> I knew I had some cheese Danish around here. <laughs> well, you can never tell when you're gonna need them. The laser phaser ray controls everyone it touches. All part of the Martian invasion scheme. Martian invasion scheme. Boy, I'm sure glad this isn't true. Just imagine Martians disguised as cheese Danish. Why, who would ever suspect? Wade, what do these look like? Mmm, let's see. Mmm, cheese Danish. Don't eat that. That's a baby Martian. A baby Martian? That's how they disguise themselves. Hello, Orson. <gasps> He's been laser phasered. That means the Martians are invading. Martians? Invading? Oh, no! We've got to warn everyone. Help! The Martians, Martians are here! Help! Help! <laughs> Don't you think you're a little rough on Orson? Ah, uh, maybe you're right. Martians are invading and they look like cheese danishes and they made Roy into a space zombie and they're gonna take over the world and we're all in a lot of trouble and I'm getting out of here! You were saying, Lanolin? Huh, something strange here. I'm gonna take a look around. <sighs> What if they don't stop at Cheese Danish? What if they start disguising themselves as crullers and croissants and bagels? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 this is just too perfect. <laughs> and now comes the best part. Hi, Orson. Want to go halvesies on a Cheese Danish, dude? Oh, that's not a Cheese Danish. That's a Martian. Oh, Orson! I just found Prune Danish over by the chicken coop! Prune Danish? Those must be men from Jupiter! Come on! Hey, I don't understand this man. And I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> mm. This Martian's a little stale. Perfect! The grain silo looks just like a rocket ship. And when I get Orson to open the door to his rocket, whoosh! He'll be buried in grain right up to his little piggy eyebrows. <laughs> Here they come now. Spaceship 2 Mars is here. That's their spaceship. Right where the grain silo used to be. Hope no one steals spaceship or we cannot return to Mars to start invasion of Earth. That's the answer, Orson. You gotta take their spaceship. Roy's behind this. I should have known. That is door to spaceship. Okay, I'll do it. Hurry up, Orson. You have to save the world from the Martians. We sure can't count on Roy here. What do you mean you can't count on Roy here? I'm Roy here. Nah, you got yourself captured by the Martians, Roy. You can't be the one to steal their spaceship. Oh, you think I can't, huh? Well, I'll show you one side, hog. I'll fly this rocket. What am I doing? It wasn't supposed to work like this. At this rate, I'll be done in time for Christmas. What year? That I'm not sure of. I should stop reading those books. Ah, oh, don't ever stop reading books. Just remember, they're books. Sometimes they're real, and sometimes they're to play pretend. A worm! Got you, worm. You're mine. Give up. Give up. I got you. Boy, you're a tough one. Oops. 
nice tail. Mission Force to Phobos 1. Plan to disguise as Cheese Danish as fate. Could find no intelligent life on Earth. Repeat, no intelligent life. Returning home. Well, nothing to do today but hang on the old screen door. I'm bored. I'm so bored. Bored, 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 bored. I wish something would happen. Garfield, it's lunchtime. Now, where'd he go? I'm in pain. I'm in real pain. Pain, 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 pain. <laughs> Just what I needed, a display of blatant cuteness. By the way, it takes real sharp claws to do this. We're professionals. Don't try it at home. Humans think this is so cute. Look at them. Hey, Garfield, where are we going? We? We're not going anywhere. You, however, are getting a tour of scenic Abu Dhabi. Odi, tongue. Thanks. I always knew you were good for something. The mailman will be along soon. You know, I I've been wondering, why don't you bring the mail to the ha- Oh, right, yeah, I've still got the cat. <laughs> Thanks. Stonewall Obedience School. Train your pet to behave. Oh, <laughs> boy, there's one place Garfield would never- What's inside this- Normal! I can hear John now. I don't believe it. How could you do it? I don't believe it. How could you do it? See? Don't you realize how wrong it was to try and mail Nermal to Abu Dhabi? You're right. Egypt's further. I'm sending you to the Stonewall Obedience School. Obedience school? Well, maybe school won't be so bad. I can hang around the student union, check out the cheerleader. Ah, there's my new student. No, no. Not me. Jim, take him. I'll make a break for it. No cat has ever gotten away from me. Just give me six hours with this cat. I'll have him purring like a kitten. I don't know. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. With my method, cats learn to be afraid of humans. It must be working. I'm terrified. Come back in six hours. Well, okay. No. Don't leave me with her, John! All right, Cat, let's get started. Do you do any tricks? Oh, Cut that out! All right, now let's see if you can play dead. Dead? <gasps> You got me, pal. Yeah, I stole the Clapman diamond. <laughs> Check, please. <laughs> Hope the Academy Award people are watching. All right. Roll over. Good. Now speak. Wake up! Yeah! <sighs> now I know where Nermal learned that trick. No kidding, she was thrown out of the Marines for what? Unnecessary roughness. Shh. Now, nothing teaches a cat obedience like a spin around the obstacle course. Clyde, demonstrate for our guest. Oh, I hate this. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> 
I hate this. I can't tell you how much I hate this. There are no words in the English language to describe how much I hate doing this every day. Faster! Faster, you midget feline! Swing over the dog pit! I just hate this! Hate it! 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 Don't hurt those dogs, cat! Now it's your turn to... John, how could you leave me here? Oh no, she's running a prison! Seal all the exits! A cat is loose! Thanks! Don't mention it. This is the only way out! He's not getting past me! Not quite my fashion, but they'll have to do. Taking your cat home, little boy? Well, hurry up. I have more important matters. Considered a low cholesterol diet. Please save me! I'll never yell at a cat again as long as I live! Help! Should I trust her? Ah, why not? Is anyone around? I saw all these cats down the... Boom! And step on it. What happened here? I think I graduated. I don't understand what happened at that obedience school. I... You're mailing normal again? Garfield, how many times do I have... <laughs> Gee, <laughs> I apologize, Garfield. I feel terrible accusing you like that. I'll go fix you a snack to make it up to you. I really am sorry. Well, you should be. Imagine thinking I would mail Nermal to Abu Dhabi again. <coughs> be quiet, Odie. You'll like the Yukon. <coughs> 